Hey everyone, welcome back to Simplays, and it's time to jump! Now, open your shoot now! Open your shoot now. There you go. Oh boy. I need to aim for it, don't I? Why is one of his legs missing? Oh, he's just holding it forward. Okay. Okay, just very slowly. Very slowly and carefully. Wow, what a perfect landing. Then suddenly a giant parachute comes down from the rooftops onto the streets, blinding some poor taxi driver, slamming into the side of a store window, killing three people. Oh, the massacre. Oh, the humanity. Oh, that poor taxi driver had no idea there would be a parachute falling on his windshield from the top of that building. Hey, look, an artifact. That wasn't so bad. So... You must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected. But I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the cap. Ooh. Artifact in the face. Well, who was that guy? Probably Desmond's brother so or something like that. Who the hell like is that. Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. What are those syringes I'd on her arm? I'd suggest you see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Well then, that was a neat little expedition. Can we go back to the actual game now? Oh wait, I have to go... Okay, I thought I fell off, but instead that happened. Yeah, I'm gonna go find a plug for the power source right now. Which might be this. Is this a plug? No? Okay. What about down here? What about something down here? Something down here. No? Okay. How do I get back up? Oh, there's a staircase here. I'm not gonna use the stairs. Parkour. That's what they call it nowadays. Yep. Just a quick little jump. Alright, let's see. Power source? Where do I plug this uh, in? Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over. I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. Really? You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, Jeez. I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. Okay, didn't want to talk to him really, but I guess I had no choice. Can I go back in the Animus, please? Or am I supposed to put a power source in? Like, they told me to find a socket for the power source, so... Pff. What is this? Okay, no. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We yeah. are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? <sighs> no clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here? Waiting somewhere. Still alive. Yeah, no. That's mental. That I mean she'd be at least 75, 80,000 years old. So powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. 
They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. Maybe they found one. Can I go back to this? Thanks. Good luck, Desmond. Thanks. This is what I wanted. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports I like seeing the scenery be built like that. It's really neat. Come on. All these things I must determine. Spare a moment. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop. Have a them. look. What is it? Connor? Is looking like or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shao Zhong to <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Connor suddenly looks like he's thirty-five. Don Andogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Satcham, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> ah, you bastard. She's that? Okay, where to? Where to? Can we fast travel anywhere? Oh, 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 map, map. Uh, let's see, where is the mission start? Ah. There it is. Can I... Where can I fast travel? Can I... Can I fast travel here? Anywhere? I can't. Okay, I'll just uh, do that, I guess. kind of want to do a homestead mission. But are there any fucking horses out here? Yeah, I don't want to do naval missions. There's a horse. I'll take you, horsey. Oh, look, a puppy. Alright, let's go, horsey. Ah, uh, a nice little trot. Actually, we're gonna do a very, very fast gallop. Because we need to get there fast. No time for dilly dallying. Here we go. Can we cross? Nope, we can't cross that. But I know what we can cross. And it should be up. Nope, can't. Okay, just taking a little back route. That's what we're doing. Just taking a little back route. Can we cross? It's a cliff. That's why we can't fucking cross. God damn, this place can be so fucking confusing sometimes. Yeah, the water. The water is way too deep. That horse is not gonna go. Oh my god. This is uh, the most confusing freaking map ever. Everything is like hills and cliffs and impossible to navigate. Oh my god. Come on. Stop spraying a little bit. Yeah. I guess I should stop. This horse, so slow. Oh, there's the bridge over to the other side. Come on, horse. We're not that far. God damn it. 
I I hate this. I hate this so much right now. And jump down. Alright. I don't even know where the horse's stamina is. Like, there should be a bar notifying me how much stamina it has. But no, that's too hard. God, they're up on a cliff. How the fuck do I get up here? That's all I want to do for this last... For these last few minutes of this episode. I just want to get up there. I just want to... I don't know. I just want to do something. Because this episode has literally been Desmond running through the buildings. After... No, he just parachuted. That's all we did at the start of the episode. Then we listened to Sean and to Rebecca or whatever her name is. The black haired girl. Come on, horse. You can jump this. Fucking hell. This is, this is brutality. This is brutality to its maximum limits right now. Ah, eh, fuck off. I'm gonna go up this way. Don't know what you ran into there. Stupid horse. Horse controls in this game are terrible. And I mean terrible. Okay, I'm gonna dismount. Okay, I guess you're dying. And you're dead too. And you're dead, buddy. And, oh, what? He countered my counter. And, fuck you. Need to disarm him and then I need to fuck him up. Help the stranger. Uh, nope. How do I. How do I do this? How do I do this? Hang? Can I climb down? Can I go down here and help him? He's not dead, is he? Son of a Bitch, he better not be dead. What do I do? Can I interact with this, please? Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna drop this guy off the cliff. I'm mad. Fuck you. Can I... Can I interact with this, please? Can I not... I can just flip the axe around. <laughs> oh, that's neat. That's neat. What the hell do I do? I can't interact with the fucking... Can I do this instead? Come on. I can't do anything with this rock. It's here. It's telling me I can interact. God damn it. This is this is so frustrating. I can't interact with it. Can I just uh, I'm just going to aim this at that. Nope. Can't do it. I can't I can't do anything with this rock. I can't do anything. That's the most frustrating part. I can't do anything with the rock even though it's glowing. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna... Ugh, next time on Simplace, guys. Gotta fuck... Fuck that. I'm supposed to be able to interact with that rock, but it's telling me that I can't. I don't... I don't know. This game got broken somewhere. <sighs> Thanks, guys, always for watching. We'll be at the next mission on next episode. Bye!